Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop. You got it, 10 more minutes, don't you feel an action. See what I wanted to try and do now, I want to try something. Got all these molds waxed up. I'm getting ready to start part all and stuff, but uh, I think I want to try something real quick. I want to incorporate this gun port into my mold okay and there ain't but one way to do that let's fill her up with Bondo baby it looks like it looks pretty simple it looks like it's just got a little taper on it there and then more of a taper on it and we'll taper them sides just to frickle so the mold comes off of it easy and then I'll double it face tape it back in my mold okay do I know this is going to work no I don't see there's the gun area there but this bondo sets up fast enough I think it's worth a try okay now this could either have it done in minutes or just forget it and truck on <laughs> all right this is just regular old bondo all right Pretty good plan on how to do it in the old noggin there. Yeah, it's that runny stuff that comes out. Now if this works, I want to sand it smooth and I'll seal it, uh, probably with some thin CA, and then I could tape it in my mold tonight, and keep right on trucking, and not lose that much time. Time is one thing, I just don't have a lot of, <laughs> so I ain't got nothing but time, okay. Hope this works. This is waxed up really good. Don't have no part all, but lots of wax. I don't want no bubbles, so I gotta kind of be careful how I put it in. Now if this works. I'll pop it out, sand it to the shape I want, and then double face tape it back in. I just want to use one coat of Bondo. I don't want to be here Bondoing all night. I just want to get it. I want it this thick enough this first go around and then just take it over there to the sander and get the shape I want. Seal it up real good because you just cannot mold on the top of Bondo. You're, it'll stick every time. I don't care how much wax you put on it. You just have to seal Bondo. We could uh, put a a coat of thin CA on it, and then a coat of primer, and it's good to go.
I don't want to do is blow off this bondo everywhere. I just want to keep it in one lump. Like this. And I'm going to make the clean up easier. See now I'm just going to use a little piece out of that. But i got to make it way bigger. Kind of to get the shape I want. I might mix up a little more even. Let that kind of tack up just a little. Just want to make sure and get a nice flat surface out here. I think that's going to work right there. Messed up a little much at the same time. Okay, we're going to let that set up. I'm going to pop it out of there. See if I ain't got something I can work with. What do y'all think? Think that'll work? Should. That sure would make a nice little gun port right there. You know what I mean? I mean that run. You know what I mean there, Vern? But I got, look what all I got waxed up. I got another set of Bobo blasters. Got my Bobo blaster molds all made uh, waxed up. I got the front nose gear door. I got the chute door. I got another vertical stab. I got another elevator somewhere. Oh, it's right there. And I'm going to get all them primed up tonight and uh, get them laid up this week. I probably ain't going to lay up another fuse till Monday. i to wait for my buddy's day off. And hopefully, we're going to be able to incorporate that little machine gun hole if it works out. If it don't, well, we tried. <laughs> We'll see you guys back in the shop. Thanks for watching. Well, we'll see you next time. St. Bob time. St. Bob station. This episode of Bob TV was broadcasted in Philovision. This is a drama free.